Hey guys, it's Gameface here and welcome back to another FIFA 15 squad builder and when I say another it is actually only my second squad builder that I've done on FIFA 15 because I've been mainly focusing on career mode but today I thought I'd bring you a squad builder video. Uh, it's a BPL team um, I'm not going to spoil the team too much, I will unveil um, every single player individually uh, and then I'll show you some uh, goals that I've scored. Um, not all of the games I win, I think there is one match that I do lose out of the 5 or 6 that I play. Um, so bear in mind that uh, when you see me, I think losing 3-0 at the time uh, during one of the games, but I do score, I think it's 1-2 or two in that match. Um, but you'll see the goals anyway after I've unveiled all the players. So my first player is the goalkeeper and I've gone with De Gea. Now this team's worth about uh, 45 to 50 grand. Uh, at the time when I bought it, it was worth about 60, uh, so it has decreased in value uh, quite a bit. Uh, but De Gea uh, is my goalkeeper, very good goalkeeper, um, 83 overall, and uh, you can really see in game that he does do pretty well. Uh, and then at the back, I've got Coleman. Uh, again, fantastic right back, um, not too badly priced to be honest. Uh, along with Aspilicueta as my other fullback. Uh, again, a decent bit of pace uh, between them two, uh, and really the whole defence is quite a fast defence, um, so it is really good to say that my midfielders aren't the fastest really, uh, it's nice to have quite um, quick defenders. On this left hand side of defence, because uh, I think he's left footed is he? He is, so it does kind of make sense. Uh, I've got Vertonghen, um, and in my other, as my other defender I've got Koscielny, and again both got decent amount of pace, uh, very good at heading both of them, uh, and defending. Uh, physical attributes for Koscielny maybe not quite as good as it should or could be, uh, but um, the Tongan kind of makes, makes up for that. Um, both got very um, good collective stats on the cards, um, and uh, yeah, both very good centre backs as well. And you'll see, I think, Koscielny score um, one or two in the clips. And in, as my CDMs, I don't actually have any CDMs, it is a centre mid that I'm playing in both of them positions. My first note is I've got Aaron Ramsey, who obviously connects very well with Koscielny. Um, I've only got him on loan at the moment, I will buy him obviously afterwards, but there's no point in me buying a card and I can just get him on loan uh, for a few games. Uh, so I've got him, he's very good, um, solid midfielder, you don't see him make too many mistakes, um, but you don't see him sort of scoring many goals either, uh, so he just does pretty much what you expect him to do in that midfield role, uh, not a bad amount of pace, he's got more than the other uh, sentiment that I've got coming up, uh, I've got to change it this time. And that is Cesc Fabregas. Um, Cesc Fabregas, actually, um, you don't really notice his lack of pace, really. Um, he does score a couple of goals, including a header, surprisingly, um, as well. Uh, so he does get into them attacking positions, and it does feel like he plays as a bit of a centre attacking mid, which is okay, because he does do the defending side of things as well, uh, which obviously Ramsey does uh, very well. Um, so it does kind of balance really well uh, in this formation. And I've got, as my centre attacking mid, uh, Cabela. Now, I thought I'd go for him because I've not tried using him before. Uh, he was a really sort of new idea that I came up with when making this team. And he is really good. His dribbling is fantastic. His pace is good. His shooting and passing are obviously really good. You can see on his stats there. His shooting is probably even better in game. Uh, and you'll see him in the clips a couple of times as well. Uh, brilliant centre attack in mid to have in that role uh, just behind my striker. And my striker is going to be Jovetic. Now again, Jovetic has got such well-rounded stats uh, with his pace, his shooting, his passing, his dribbling, and his physical isn't too bad as well. Um, and again, he scores plenty of goals, you'll see in the clips, uh, from I think the five or six games that I have played. Uh, so a really good striker to have up there, um, decent amount of pace, and he just seems to get past defenders really well. And then as my left mid, um, maybe a bit of a surprising one. Sami Nasri because he doesn't have that much pace uh, compared to a normal winger uh, but he does link up very well with obviously Jovetic and Cabela um, but he just really does that job down the left hand side you don't really notice any issues because um, sometimes if the right mid's really pacey you might have a bit of an issue with your left mid uh, not being able to track him particularly well but it does seem to work quite well with Cesc Fabregas being there as kind of like the stopping um, player stopping anybody getting down that left hand side and um, also Aspilicueta has got a bit of pace as well um, slightly more than Nasri, but Nasri's pace isn't too bad really, don't notice it that much uh, in the game. His passing and his dribbling is obviously very good and he links up quite well uh, with the striker and I think the centre attack in mid as well. Uh, he doesn't score too many goals, I'm not too sure whether he does get one in the clips that I'm showing, um, but you'll have to wait and see. And then my my right mid that I've got 
it, just to inject a bit more pace into the team because we don't have loads of it. We've got probably just above average, really, if you look at some of the pace stats. Uh, and then you've got Malaras, who is obviously very pacey. Um, so he's got 88 pace, uh, 77 shooting, 77 passing, and 83 dribbling as well. Uh, very good down that right-hand side. You'll see him a couple of times in the clips. Links up very nicely with Coleman as well and uh, works really well down that right hand side. So this is the team I've gone with. Um, you've got the clips uh, following on from this with some music in the background. And uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed this video then please go leave a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you're going to make this team or you like the team. Um, if you have made it already um, then that would be really appreciated and I hope you have enjoyed this. Goodbye.